you guys going to rip back for the Sunday game? It's a home and home. Oh, yeah. I think we're playing well we are. on Sunday. Yeah. We are. That's lovely. Dude, the and game's at fucking one. We're going to be like done at four and just be like in well. And like, we're going to have a beach. There's a nice beach in town, I think. I know, but I got a feeling we're just going to end up at Boston Pizza and just get completely blocked. You are, but go get... You should, you we'll should. stumble to the beach at like midnight. <laughs> Welcome back, people! Coast to coast, all you millions of followers out there. We know they're at the million count now. We are the Bushmen. Welcome to episode million three of this million campaign. Uh, you know, we're the fans of obviously the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Intercounty Baseball League. We've been holding it down since what, Ray? Like 2016? Like at I least, think 2016. Like yeah. 2016. Yeah. Uh, they play out of Dominico Field in Toronto, aka Christie Pitts, aka, AKA the Pitts, aka the Angry Confines. Confines. And we are ready. <laughs> We're ready for anger. Episode. I love it. Uh, my name is G Hill. I am in the house. I'll pass it over to my brother, the Ginger Bush, Elliot Hill. Are you here? I am here and ready to go. Yes, guy. Yes, guy. And then finally, our boy, Ray, a.k.a. Papa Bush. Are you in the building? I'm in the building and I'm ready to talk some IBL, boys. I love it. I love it. I love it. First week in the books. First week in the books. But I guess first off, long weekend, boys. How'd it go? Ray, I know you uh, unfortunately (laughs) had to attend a memorial, so you couldn't go to the Sunday game. But... We saw you were watching the Bushman from the YouTube channel up on Muskoka. Always, always. It was very good on the dock, just hanging out. Got Love the it. game, caught the last little bit of the game. I have to say, Elliot and Eric, who's not on the podcast right now, very highly audible on the live stream. Kudos, kudos, kudos. Yeah, you know. Know. We put, we put in a lot of work out there. We were lucky because it was a bit of a crumb day, so the park was like deathly quiet and just the echoes were flying you could hear casual conversation from the bush <laughs> it was day. fantastic it was fantastic it. i Love still it. have to put in my request for let leaving the microphones on in between innings but that's all in all my only real suggestion to the boys just great quality live stream i have to say Hundred percent, hundred percent. Shout out Thomas. I know you're the main man there. I I don't know his co-defendant there. I I, I don't have his name, but like Ray Ryan mentioned, was I think it was yeah, Ryan. It was Ryan yeah. Yeah. Oh, was it Beauty? Yeah. Okay, well, shout out. Uh, so yeah. they, you know, people. If you can't watch the game, you can just go on the IBL website, go to the scores, watch live. It'll link you right to the YouTube. And like Ray mentioned, I think they've moved the speaker a bit to the left so you can actually hear <laughs> the Bushman just hackling away, which yeah. was uh, definitely heard. I, I unfortunately couldn't make it. We had a really big weekend on the island. I'm such oh, an yeah. old man. I can't rally. My brother Elliot made it in my uh, absence, but I was definitely tuned in uh, from my couch while I was just licking yeah. my wounds. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, G, you were coming in off a hot Thursday into a hot Friday, a hot Saturday. Like, your Sunday is going to be ice cold. I get yeah, it. yeah, the three back to back just led to a day of rest for this Bushman. But I'm glad, uh, and we'll get to that game because that was a significant game. I thought I'd uh, mention something real quick. Obviously, there was a crazy storm that that did affect Ontario. Um, so we want to give a shout out. I hope everyone you know has their power back on. I hope everyone's safe. I know a Leafs game on Saturday got canceled. Uh, we were actually on a water taxi headed to the Toronto Island. We could see the storm cloud approaching. We got off the water taxi and literally it was just mayhem. So, um, you know, I hope everyone's doing safe. But a uh, quick note here, uh, our patriarch, Jack, the late Jack Domenico, has actually been awarded the Bruce Prentice Legacy Award by the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame. So big shout out to Jack. He was actually awarded this off the cap <laughs> in 2020, but obviously due to the pandemic in 2020 and 2021, they didn't have a ceremony. Uh, and then unfortunately Jack did pass earlier this year. So our boy, Damon Topley, the coach, he went out to go accept it in his honor. Uh, a few other award winners that I noticed are Tim Horton, Frank J. Selke, and then also just the Queen's Plate. Just like... A- <laughs> 
just like a race <laughs> horse just, right yeah just just so, the trophy just yeah, the trophy yeah. itself no. yeah they gave it maybe so to wait. the plate like or so like wait. the i don't know does that mean if you win the queen's plate you're automatically a part of the ontario no. hall of fame because the queen's plate no. there no, no, they no, were just, specific it was just the, just plate. the plate i think literally <laughs> the <laughs> silver platter yeah is yeah the legacy <laughs> i mean it's a pretty sick platter like it is you know it's it's of all the platters out there. It's a legacy you, platter. When yeah. you win that, do you get to keep it for a couple months? Like, could you charcuterie on this on the queen's plate, or drink do you have to out give of it, it? like a afterwards. like a dish? Like you need a straw, and you. Just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I think it goes straight to the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame, just right, right back, beside man. Jack. Like you don't even get to see it or touch it. So I thought that was interesting, and That's I thought cool. I'd note. You know, the, the gentleman who's accepting the award, our coach, Damon Topoli, he's actually a North Bay Hall of Famer himself. And, and Ray pointed this out to me, his sister, Stephanie Loretto Topoli, well, in brackets, her last name's obviously Loretto now, but she's also in the North Bay Hall of Fame as an oh. excellent softball player. So shout out the Topoli. And... And you forgot Papa Tops. The trifecta is he in it. the Hall of Fame. Papa yeah. Tops is in it too. All three of them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Papa Tops induction. Papa the triple Tops. Whammy. Papa Tops started so like the Papa Tops started like the Northern IBL. Man, it was crazy. like a semi-pro baseball league in Northern Ontario run by Papa Tops. Dude, I know. We love you it. know yeah. what? Papa Tops' wife is definitely in the Sports Mom Hall of Fame for oh, sure, 100%. which is definitely in like Sudbury or some like grit town, you know, yeah. some good <laughs> hockey town. <laughs> She's on like the Mount Rushmore there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so good shout out there to the, to the Leafs, you know, getting the Hall of Fame status. We love it. Um, and then also, too, to note, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs have joined the 21st century, folks. They have an online store where you can buy gear. Now, our boy Wait, Ray has done a little bit phone. of investigating. Are you serious? He's done a little <laughs> bit of investigating. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's not like, you know, when we used to go to the games, you'd have to go to Jack's shed and, you know, he might toss you a real jersey. It might be like one slightly used. The hats were always proper. But, Ray... How's this online store looking? Boys, it's not bad. Hey, let's just say there's there's items to buy. We got a hoodie. We got a T-shirt. We got a hat. And we got that baseball board game. Okay? You got to start somewhere. Yeah. We can, we we can see grow. You. We can grow. We're, everyone's still waiting for jerseys. Everyone's still waiting for full back hats. You know, we keep yes. telling people. Oh, Ray, like, like this? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, fantastic. But, yeah, you know, we tell the fans out there that's not just a willy nilly hat that you can just go get. You gotta, you can't you gotta just put buy in your hat. time. You gotta yeah. put in your time. But you know what? I know that there are a bunch of people out there that do that are a fan of the fullbacks. So I su- I suggest options Look on into there. It. Look yeah. A couple into jerseys, it. maybe. Play some and I will say, noise. there was that guy, T.O. Hat guy, who was was grinding for the for the fullback caps. He seems to dig it, and if he's the Toronto Hat guy. Then, like, you know, let's find a way to make it happen. And let's I and it. I will say, it, it it's one of those hats, and I know like both of you have experienced this when you're like out in Toronto, and like you just see someone else like with a Maple Leafs hat. There's always just like a locking of the eyes and just an acknowledgement, yeah. and it's just like it's like a club. It's like it, a club. You're it in. really is. It really is. And when they when they also acknowledge like IBL Leafs, nice. Yeah. Yeah. You feel nice. you, something. I feel something in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, Ray, like, Ray actually, yeah, there's, there's no like, there's no clarification. Being like, oh, is that a Maple Leafs hat? You're like, oh no, the baseball. Leafs. They're like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm aware. I'm aware. Ray, you have a pretty good story of when you were walking down the street and your neighbor noticed that you had a, a Leafs hat, and he like mentioned that, oh, have you been to the game or whatever? Oh yeah, yeah. He was curious. He started asking a couple questions. He said, you know, he was at a game a couple weekends ago, a Sunday game, in fact, and uh, was quite entertained by a constant barrage of heckling. <laughs> So we kind of got to chatting a little bit. Turned out that he was talking to one and only Bushman 
extraordinaire right in front of him. He basically <laughs> lost his mind, couldn't believe it. He was like, no way. You're a Bushman. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. ridiculous. So it was a great moment for him. Great moment for myself because I immediately got to run home and tell Carrie about how right we are. <laughs> yeah. Six yeah. cities in southern Ontario. <laughs> Ray, I, I immediately ran home and told Kim about your story. That's how dedicated. We are well, I, to I the think week. another great moment was home opener with Caps Photography and one of Kim's first experiences at the game also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just seeing people take pictures of us. It's yeah. ridiculous. Craig Aiken's just like, hey guys, I'll make sure to get some like close-up shots of Dieter Day. Yeah. 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 I love also it. love we that love everyone just refers to our area just as the Bushman. They're like, hey, Bushman. <laughs> oh, hey Bushman. How are you? Just a generic, not to anyone in general. Yeah, just yeah. like you don't make eye contact, you just gotta look up there. Yeah. <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, but also to give shout outs, obviously, uh, uh, Robert K uh, on Twitter is La Russa Gastro. Now this guy always pumps out. Uh, he's got his on the Christie Hillside blog. He's been doing it for years. He breaks down every game. He takes photos. We love what you do, Robert. So so keep that up. So I guess on that note, boys, uh, since we last chatted, there was three games on the schedule, and the Leafs played two. Um, there was a rain out on Saturday, as we mentioned, with that storm. So. I don't know. Why, why don't we get into it? So Thursday, May 19th, the Leafs went on into Barry against the Barry Baycats and uh, came up short. They lost uh, 2-1. Uh, I think the one highlight from the game is obviously we had a Bushman show up. I haven't heard from him since, so I don't know if he's still <laughs> strung out somewhere on Essa Road by a bunch of Baycat fans. But uh, also, our, our boy, uh, Ryan Santos, a.k.a. Wow. Blanco, with the wow. first home Went run of yard the bird. season. Went yard bird. Unbelievable. In the oh. ninth. Of course he does it on the road, too. Of course. Like, come of on, course. Santos. Of course. I love it. I love it. But he, he did it like Ray mentioned. Uh, the uh, the Baycats pitcher just had the Leafs at bay. You know, they didn't score a run until the ninth inning against Grievison. Um, you know, Castaldo and Santos had two hits each, but – you know, other than that, it was it was, it was kind of crickets. Uh, you I know, think on our it was end, strikeout city on our side, yeah. wasn't it? I think we had like fourteen strikeouts from the Barry yeah, pitchers. Yeah, yeah, we took we took a bit of, we took a bit of a beating, but I, I did want to make mention. So our starting pitcher and and you know Sebastian Kahn, I feel like you, you always start on the road. Like whenever you see, yeah, yeah, dude, this is a man. serious mystery man that we've I never even want seen to come in to person in the. He in, definitely he definitely like lives in Barry or something because he only ever seems to pitch for us when we're like. Out there or right. in Hamilton it's like so it's kind of like a battery oh, mate where like you know a catcher only works with one pitcher he <laughs> only works on the Barry mound he's just like but, that's it well like we've never even like seen this guy hanging out in the pits ever he's just a mysterious guy who just SK, shows up we love you road. come home I love it I come love home. it I love <laughs> it come home if you're not gonna pitch at home at least come drink with us in the bush yeah <laughs> we'll take that <laughs> um so yeah obviously saturday uh in guelph it, it got stormed out so there was no game uh that brings us obviously to sunday may 22nd the tack back game garrett takamatsu yes. welcome back welcome home we love it um i thought i actually mentioned on, on the earlier game uh santos got the pennies player of the game so you better go get a beer down there from the patio but uh going back to sunday may 22nd the leafs Put up the W, boys. They win it 3-2 to two against the Brantford Red Sox. We had a combination of, uh, of Sloan pitching with uh, Reese Montgomery and Adam Mara. Uh, on their end, they had Junior Yambatis. So oh, Junior yeah, with me. a Y. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, and then Lombardi and Louis. But uh, I thought, you know, I might pass to, uh, to Elliot, you know, our, our – yeah. our, uh, Field side reporter Elliot, what were you seeing at the game? What did you like from the boys? Uh, what are, the boys played played solid defense. I think we turned three double plays all together, um, and one of them, I think at least one, maybe even two, were like non conventional, like catching and throwing a guy out. Uh, one of them was a guy over like went to first, came off the bag too far. We made a stab and threw it over and got him out on, on the line out. And then, <laughs> terrible base running by by Brantford all game. <laughs> but you, like seriously bad. 
but we their catcher, I think it's Jacob uh, Reed. Or, yeah, Jacob Reed. He probably only caught 85% of the pitches that were thrown to him. Every like fifth pitch was just a straight up drop. There was one at bat where he didn't catch a single pitch. They would hit him in the glove and then fall out of his glove. And I'm like, you're a catcher. It's in your name to catch the ball. So I don't know if he normally doesn't do that or what it was, but Brantford, if you want to win some games, you're going to have to shake that up. <laughs> Get some sticky tack on the mat. On, Dude, on, it was on, like he was rubbing Vaseline on it. There was one. It was a pitch right down the middle, and it hit him square in the glove, and it just went boom, boom. <laughs> like look down defeated <laughs> oh. oh that's awesome that's awesome well l like ray mentioned we could definitely hear you and uh like we said it's a little bit more of a lightly attended bush but we could hear you guys uh yeah. through the feed and you know shout out thomas and ryan for uh for tilting that speaker we, yeah. we definitely appreciated it um i thought i'd give a quick shout out to uh tage Goller. The, the junior call-up, yeah. man. This guy Killed has it. been on fire. He got another two RBIs that game. Um, and then, obviously, a shout-out, the Pennies player of the game there was to Manny. Hot to Manny. Goes two for I three with it. an RBI. Yeah. Well, all his runs scored were in the fourth inning. The fourth inning was a fireball inning. Every other inning was like a pitcher's duel. Oh, but, yeah, gee, I forgot. You forgot Chris Nagorski. He got yeah. saved for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. big yeah. Nagorski. And Sloan close. looked like he was dealing. I caught a couple of innings. He both, looked both, like both runs were, were unearned. Um tough, yeah. tough, tough error by uh by our, our boy the professor, uh, G Money. Oh yeah, I did see that the Leafs <sighs> did come up with three errors. What was going on over there, L? You know, it was it was just plays that we like could have made the play and we didn't. And that was mm-hmm. tough. But then all the plays that we did make were like, you know, there were some like good catches, yeah. a lot of like nice movement on balls, you know, mm-hmm. flying to the outfield. Castaldo was this close to making the most highlight reel stab ever, but he knocked the ball down enough that it stopped it to just a single. Mm-hmm. Damn it. But uh, nice. unfortunately, the third baseman, Spencer, uh, I can't remember what his last name is, Jameson. We got zero errors, so unfortunately. Zero errors, error. that's all right. We'll get them next time. We'll get them right. I, I was gonna, time. I was gonna ask you all that. I, I noticed nothing on on the error counter, so we couldn't, we couldn't rack one up. I mean, I got, there we, we was might, a we might, we might throw plays. a show, We might throw an honorary mention to Jacob Reed for just dropping a bunch yeah. of balls. Yeah, I yeah. mean, his his team was so embarrassed by that they were just like, we can't let an error go through the bush and we're eating <laughs> this guy alive. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, Al, was there any live anthem singing before the game? We were calling for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. There was no, no Ukrainian children's choir this no, time. No, no anthem. Do we have any, any bird live fights? Anthem? Any bird fights in the air? Uh, I saw a blue jay getting chased around, but that was about <laughs> it. Uh, but no, just just the classic anthem they've had since 1969. Still played on the same like record player. Nice. <laughs> it's a good version. It's a good version. Oh, it's classic. Boys, uh, who right do you think's gonna get the first? First home run in the pits for the boys. Two games now. No uh, home runs. It's basically everyone. unheard of. <laughs> Lazo, Lazo, Lazo came real close. He hit one of his classic Lazo laser beams to opposite field. Uh, so, like, the TD – there's, like, a TD uh, banner that's hung up in the outfield for advertising. Mm. It was kind of, like, just left to left center, and he hit, like – a perfect line drive directly into it. <laughs> he only got a single out of it because he hit it so hard that it just hit the fence and the fielder got right to it. Awesome. 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 Well, I'm going to throw out a name here. I'm going to throw a Tage Gollard, man, because this kid has been roping it. In that game, I saw, all, like, just from watching it, we had so many hard hit down the left field line foul balls. Like, it seemed like there was, like, a bunch that, that might have got in. But uh, – I guess before we get into standings, uh, there you know obviously there's been other games in the IBL. We're a supporter of this entire league, but it's an entirely Leafs focused <laughs> podcast. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It was a pretty epic Saturday, and there was a couple like kind of wild finishes. Ray, do you do you have anything to, to add? Couple to that? big, couple big walk offs on Saturday. Can't go wrong with that. The IBL getting started, nice and hot. Uh, who do we want to talk about first? Oh my God! Okay, well, well IBL, oh, yeah. well over London. <laughs> well, okay. yes. London, they took our first game from us, so I'm happy that they took a loss in Welland. What do we got? We got six runs in the bottom of the oh. ninth by wow. the boys in Welland. 
Oh my God, Lundy giving up the last couple runs. Come on, Lundy, wow. Lundy, just, Lundy. Yeah. Oh, so like London crummy. was up. If if you're so they were up seven seven, seven two. two. Yeah. Seven, going two, yep. into the ninth, and they lost eight seven off a yeah. six run rally. Wow. Showed what out have well. We, what have we always said about Jared Lund? He makes a great water sports crap water like what you know water sports boat. But he's a terrible pitcher. <laughs> you get him out there for fishing; he's fantastic. You throw him on the mound. Stick, stick to fishing. Stick yeah, to fishing. They, you know that's awesome. And then Barry took a little squeaker over Hamilton too, four to three on Saturday. Also, another walk off. That another walk off. Just walk to seal off the Saturday. Deal. Except you know, even though Hamilton did take the loss, somehow our boy Braun. Got player of the week, <laughs> Ben Braun himself, Hamilton Cardinals starting pitcher. I don't know, man. I think maybe he slid a couple bucks to Kastner yeah. or something because I don't, I don't know. I don't like the call. Is, didn't, he, didn't he have six innings pitch, no earned runs though? I think he had a pretty nice line. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I know. guess like, did they just collapse at the end or something? Like I don't know if he he might not have been started for that game. I think Hamilton had a bit of a doozy on the weekend. I think they had like three or four games on the weekend. And on Benny, Friday, Saturday, so, so Ben Braun, he's actually like a great fan of the Bush. We saw him great in the guy, finals last year. He came we up know to him, us. But said we what know up. Him. Yeah, he said <laughs> what up to the boys. But Benny, like go into the seventh, man. Like, yeah, come on, the man. player of the week, you got to get into the seventh, dude. Is that even it's considered not. a full game? No. I, I mean, you considered you, you, a quality you start. Yeah, you qual quality start. But, like, I mean, what, one of 20 he makes each year? Yeah. He makes no quality <laughs> start. Get out of here. And, like, what's quality? It's like a shitty milk chocolate. Like, get the fuck yeah. out of here. <laughs> 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 that shitty milk chocolate. Oh, okay. Chocolate. Well, hey, yeah. Boys, we'll, I got one more note, yeah, too. Just ahead, a little bro. highlight here. Yeah, buddy. Guelph Royals back in the mix a little bit. And mm. I don't know if you guys saw, but they made a big signing. They signed uh, Dalton Pompey, ex oh, Blue Jay oh, this yeah. year. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Four years with the Jays. But guess what? Goes over three in his first game. Welcome <laughs> to the big leagues, Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the IBL, Dalton yeah. Pompey. Can't oh. wait to get at you. Oh, my God. I've been thinking <laughs> of so many heckles for him. Like, Timothy Dalton references is the shittiest Bond. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Dalton McGinty, the flakiest. Dalton <laughs> McGinty. That's such a Canadian. So name. That's amazing. That's uh, okay, That's yeah. So, moving on. Obviously, standings update. Like Ray mentioned, you know, there's a couple other. It's, it's not just the Leafs in this league, folks. Um, so Barry sitting at the top of the top of the order, they're three and oh, so far. Um, I guess quick note, most teams have played three games. Uh, Guelph's only played two because they had the rain out for some reason. Kitchener only played one game. So I don't know. Yeah. What their, their first game wasn't until like a couple days ago. Yeah, like they yeah. It wasn't even that they got rained out. They just weren't even scheduled. Yeah, oh yeah. Panthers. Boys. Did you also hear that there was a propane leak in London? I think, or no, it might've been in Kitchener. That's why they had to stop the game. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, they had to evacuate the stadium. <laughs> oh, man. Ray comes at you, folks, with the hottest inside information. Nothing gets through his fingers. It's amazing. Uh, so, a quick run through. So, Barry, uh, then Wellens 2 and 0, London's 2 and 1, Guelph 1 and 1, Hamilton 1 and 2, the Leafs 1 and 2. Brantford 0-3 with a minus 18 run differential, which is tough. We see you, Brantford. We respect you, but don't worry. They'll turn it around. They'll pull up the bootstraps. You they know will. What? They, they had to turn and then around here last one. year. Yeah, they went like 5-4 and four to end the year. It was a miraculous yeah. turnaround. 100%. 100%. Uh, okay, so we'll do a quick, we'll do a quick uh, stats trivia, boys. So there's not a lot of stats. Only been three, three games so far, and this is going to be team stats. So I'll throw one at you. This is in the batting category. And it's just going to be, you have to say, uh, top elite to, to get in for, for the buzzer. Okay, so name the only team with a triple this year, and they have two. Ooh, I feel like we saw a triple. Top league? Yeah. London? No. I'm going to say, oh, man, I'm going to go uh, wild card and say Barry. No, Hamilton. Both wrong. Ooh, wow. Oh, it was, right probably, it was oh. probably Ben Braun. <laughs> <laughs> okay next one up 
Name the only two teams with no home runs this season. Ooh, Topoli. Elliot, I mean, uh, Ray. I'm going to say Guelph and Toronto. No. Blanco, Topoli. El Blanco. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about El, only Christy Get Davis. out of here. You're done. El. All right, I'm going to go uh, Kitchener. And Kitchener and Brantford. You got one of two, Brantford, and then the other one, Welland. Huh. Really? Welland's wow. in 2 0 without Surprising. a home run. Yeah. Surprising. Okay, who's got the most runs scored? Which team at 19? Oh. Who's run up the score? Topoli. Yeah, right. I'm going to go Hamilton again. No. Oh. Topoli? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go. I like, I like we change the buzzer for each one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Barry. No. No. Really? London. Wow. Oh, London. Shit. Okay. Pitching stats. We'll move it along here. Who's issued the least walks and how many? Which team has issued the least walks and how many walks? How many? Well, you're asking for a lot, man. Uh, Topoli, London. It's three. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to say... This is a carbon. This is like you're oh, yes, man. Yeah. You're carving up out here. Oh, wow. I've got I'm half gonna a say, point. I'm going to go Hamilton with five walks. Wrong, wrong. Welland with two. They only have Whoa, two walks in two, two games. Walks? Two walks in two games. That is impressive. Okay, is most impressive. wild pitches with five. Two teams share this. Does that include most recent stats? This is as live as an hour ago. Oh, uh, Topoli, Brantford, because they threw three and last two. Uh, Probably the Leafs. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We got one. Uh, and then finally, uh, most errors with seven. Topoli. Yeah. I'm going to have to say the Leafs. I didn't want to mention them, but they're tied for the lead. Who's the other team? Oh. Oh, man. I'm going to say ooh, somebody else has seven errors. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to say. Well, think, think of staying at or sleeping under a brown tree. London? Oh, London. London. Well, I guess yeah. they, had, they had. The London Brownleys have seven wow. errors. Did they, wow. they had, I think they had two errors in the game they played against us, but only one Taylor by, Taylor Wright. Yeah. We got one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got he had two errors that game. He had one. He had one. Oh yeah, he did. Taylor Wright yeah. got one. You know what? Our errors, we gotta clean that up. That's why we lost yeah, our yeah. game. We'll be good. Very we'll be good. good. Boys, it's and, early and, in the season. And, it's early. In it's that early. game against in that game against London, man. Like yeah, we, we had a chance. Every game we've had a chance. Yeah. All right, well, let's let's move it along, boys. So the schedule, upcoming schedule, people. We got Thursday, May 26th. The Leafs are going into Kitchener, so Kitchener can finally play another game. Oh, on Saturday, yeah. Oh. On, on Saturday, they go into Welland, and I'll let you know, people, that some Bushmen are coming to this game. We got about five deep. We're staying at a gritty hotel near the park. Ryan, whoa, whoa, the owner of Welland, think, we think, see you. Yo, G, we, we gotta want... we gotta look for like the comp suite. It's the greatest hotel in London. Let's get that in they London, even, even though we're well in well yeah, in well in. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, we don't yeah. care. The Bushmen are, are are coming down. Ryan, the owner of Welland, we see you. We expect free swag. We expect white glove treatment. Maybe a red carpet or a green carpet, I guess. Uh, but all kidding aside, we're really looking forward to coming. Ray's devastated. He can't come. He'll be there in spirit. He'll be watching on YouTube. Uh, and then it's a doubleheader. The, the Leafs come back on Sunday afterwards. The Bushmen will be back. We'll be in rugged shape. That's Sunday, May 29th. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And obviously, all you Well and Jackfish fans out there, come say what up. All you people on uh, social media, like we've been loving the support. We've been seeing like our following grow, which is ridiculous and hilarious. Uh, so if you ever have any content, like literally it doesn't have to be Bushman related and you throw an at Bushman, you see a guy yelling on the street, like at Bushman, we'll, we'll share that <laughs> stuff. Like, we, we, we love it all. And uh, I don't know. Did you guys have anything else to add? We're kind of coming up against it here. <laughs> no, I love it, boys. We're just getting started. Just a couple games in. We haven't even had a Wednesday nighter yet. 
So I'm June. looking forward to more IBL action, more chatting, more fan interaction. Yeah, oh, June, was that June, just a rhyme right there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got well, uh, June June first. It's the first Wednesday game. June first, June fifteenth. So did I. And, uh, I can't remember his name. I think it's Brett. And those two guys that hang out in front of us, right? Um, who I think, like you know, they're right with the Bush crowd. They love a good heckle. Uh, they they were the ones that pointed out it's actually June first. No way. Nice. Yeah. Wow. So and you know, like excited. Like who doesn't love a Wednesday night at the IBL? Like, that's greatest amazing. greatest night in sport. Greatest oh, night in sport. Fantastic. And the greatest thing is that our the real Maple Leafs don't break your hearts, people. No, it's just a good time yeah. come down have fun with us sounds like you boys have nothing else to add so i guess we'll just end it with a go leafs go we're on the road ray what was your tagline action for interaction or something damn i don't even remember but it just it. <laughs> regardless we'll, we'll do it up all right boys i go love leafs it boys go. GLG. Go leafs go. cheers, cheers.